<laughs> he was calling off, calling everyone the Axel Maniacs, which is brilliant. Uh, and um, he's saying that he's on the road to Extreme Rules. Oh my god, do you think he's going to get a match at Extreme Rules? I hope so. I mean, How long to it? Extreme Rules is ages ago, right? It's the week before summer. It's the one before summer. Next one. Is it? Yeah, it's three weeks away. I thought Money in the Bank was after. No. Extreme Rules is next. So Money in the Bank's always after. Wow. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah, clearly. When's Money in the Bank then? The week after I think it's off. No, it's after Extreme Rules, I think. In June, July. We, we Wikipedia did this. I know, it's like, I thought it was after WrestleMania. No, no. no. Huh. I think because it used to be on WrestleMania. Yeah, I suppose. Um, so then, uh, after we finished talking, we had a new NXT debut on Raw. Yeah. It was Adrian Neville, and I've been waiting for this ever since he was in that tag match. I swear they've been telling us they've been putting up NXT guys for ages, and we just got two after WrestleMania. I reckon that's all we're getting, though. Yeah, apparently that's when they do all their... Um, Bring ups, like yeah. bring ups. They're bring doing it too. They're doing it for Divas as well, but I think they're probably waiting. Yeah. Um. But um. Yeah, Adrian Neville. I've been waiting since he was in a match with Tyson Kidd uh, ages ago before he joined with Cesaro. Yeah. So I was very excited to see him finally. <coughs> for it. And Neville. They call him Neville. I don't know why they got rid of his first name, Adrian. But I'm gonna carry on calling him Adrian Neville. Yes. <laughs> Because I refuse to call him Neville. It sounds yeah, stupid. Yeah, like a nerd. Yeah, oh, I like Neville. You like Neville. But we've got another British star on the roster. Is he British? Yeah. I knew that. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, though. We're starting NXT reviews and he's now gone. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, Can damn we, it. Yeah, but we start NXT reviews, you get the hot guy on commentary. What's his oh, name? Oh, yeah. Um, um, Corey Graves. Corey Graves. Damn. <laughs> We fell in love with him yeah. on the WrestleMania pre show. Wait, we can't, we've seen him before. It's like, who's this guy? We don't know who he is. So we Googled him. <laughs> <laughs> he gave up wrestling because of concussion issues. That's so sad. I know, he's only young, he's at 30. Is that it? It's not 30. I think he's 30, 30. He's quite young. He's very pretty. He's pretty. He is pretty. Um, and Adrian never did this amazing thing where he like, triple, triple black. Uh, I can't say. Triple yes. backflipped across I know what the you ring. Mean. That was good. That was awesome, right? Yeah. That's the best way I've seen someone get across oh, the we ring. Oh, we had a This Is Awesome chant. We did. Well. Yeah. Go on, go on, Kurt Saxel. I know. Um, I, I think it's a bit weird that they debuted him with Kurt Saxel. Kurt Saxel. But That's a bit. Still, it worked. Oh, yeah, it worked. Definitely worked. Curtis Axel is quite a good wrestler, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, he is. But it's a bit weird. They've pushed him with Curtis Axel. I know Curtis Axel was a little bit of a push, but it's a very non serious, gimmicky push that's going to get forgotten about in a few weeks. But I think whatever match Adrian never would have been in, they would have liked it, to be honest. Yeah. He's so true. over of everyone. I think it would have been nice to get an even bigger push. I think he should have probably come out with the John Cena. Um, yeah, but then that's where he could be one minute wonder because then he loses to John Cena. And yeah, it's not a good way to start. I think it's better yeah. to ease in sometimes and just go for it. Oh yeah, definitely. it's very hard to take someone seriously when they've just come up and they're like against Rusev, not Rusev, that's a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> like, not really cares say, against Rusev. Say he went against like Bray Wyatt and beat him. No one would believe that that was no. believable. So I see why I've done it. Yeah, but Kurt Axel, he's been on a losing streak since Royal Rumble. And, <laughs> yeah. Um, or, no, before then. He weren't really there, was he, before then? Is Dean be- Ambrose beating him up before or after Royal Rumble? After. Was that after? Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Royal Rumble was like in January. I know. It's April. <laughs> it's April <laughs> Come on, 1st. Guys. And um, Neville, Age Never won with the red arrow. You've got to look at that move. That's amazing. He spins up in the air, turns around, bam. Yeah. He's so good. It is really good. He can, it, oh, I hope he, I hope he goes against Andrew Bryan just gives him a run for his money. I reckon people fall in love with Age Neville a lot better. I can see Adrian being quite compatible with a lot of people, especially Seth Rollins. I was just about to say Seth Rollins. Yeah. And they've probably wrestled together before. Yeah. Seth's only been on WWE, what, three, four years? Yeah. So I reckon that'd be an amazing little thing. Mm. So yeah, I'm looking forward to see where they take yeah, it. Yeah, interesting. I hope they don't just drop him. Thing is, it'd be nice if they kind of pushed like the likes of Adam Rose and that a bit more. Yeah. Obviously, Fandango. I I generally like Fandango. They ruined when he doesn't use his gimmick. Thing is, they ruined his gimmick. It was it was nice before. Yeah. Everyone really enjoyed Fandango. Yeah, it was just a fun thing to come out. And now it's like, <laughs> but it's the same with Adam Rose. He's generally a good wrestler. Yeah, they don't use him enough. No, they don't use him enough. They need to take away his gimmick. So um, we then had the John Cena open challenge. But first, it's John Cena. He had to speak. And again, we had the John Cena sucks. Yeah. John Cena sucks. And he's like, oh, see, everyone's made new songs. <laughs> yeah, it's not a new song. 
it's just been re-released. Yeah, and that's it. Um, and he's like, you're not going to like this, but the champ is here. And everyone's like, boo. Yeah. And he's talking about his open challenge. And then I like everyone's booing, yet he beat the person who's against America. I know. Like America. And they're like, boo, <laughs> you beat Rusev. And uh, then uh, the open challenge was issued, and everyone thinks, oh, Rusev. But Dean Ambrose came out. It was a bit random, but I quite liked it because there's a kind of history there. Because obviously Dean Ambrose was like one of the longest reigning US champs, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> what, when he was in the Shield? Yeah. Really? Apparently. <laughs> I think that's what Byron said. But you can't always believe what Byron says. He, he wasn't Grace. US champ for long. Is he not? I don't think he was. That must change hands so often. Well, this is what Byron said. Um, can you really trust someone who wears a grey suit? I don't know. But we'll see. You might be. I don't. I weren't watching it when the shield was really together, so I can't. Yeah, really I comment. watched bits, but I watched a lot more of the when there were three, like attacking everyone. And I know he had a championship, and the other two had the tag team. I'm not. It doesn't matter. No, it's, it's what Byron said. But Joe, you know I'm very surprised because I thought the match was really, really good. I was really into it. Yeah, it was, it was decent. I mean, I didn't pay. Oh, I think I was getting dressed at that time. Oh, you should pay much more attention. It was yeah. good. Do you know what I enjoyed, though? Dean Ambrose did the STF on John Cena and nearly won. Really? God, you weren't watching what you can't remember. Not the end, no. no. It was a good match. Like It was like back and forth. It was quite um, equal. Like There wasn't too much domination by one person, which I quite liked. I assume Dean had just been like, in a ladder match. It was yeah, pretty good. Yeah, and cast. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> No. Um, Who would have found that online anyway if that was a thing? Someone would have tweeted it to us. So, oh no, Dean Ambrose is concussed. But he's still wrestling in the IC Championship. And on Raw. Yeah, and on Raw. And he's going for a ladder. And he's meant to win. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a couple of good moments in the match. It was quite a, a good length as well, which is quite nice. But obviously Cena was going to win. And he won with that adjustment. But well, Cena's so but um, there was like a third one, I think. Uh, there was quite a lot of false pins, and it, yeah. at one point I was like, I don't actually know who's going to win. Like, I thought maybe they are going to make Cena lose. You just never know. But obviously, Dean won. They kind of slapped hands at the end, but only like very quickly. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know how to shake your hand, but I'll slap it. <laughs> and um, Jerry Lawler. <laughs> <laughs> That's when Jerry the King Lawler joined commentary. Yeah, and he's like. I'm not here. I'm not going to be here. <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> is not SmackDown. This is not SmackDown. Don't change your your set. Oh, that's not good. What? This is not SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> not SmackDown. <laughs> Do not panic. Do not change the channel. This, this is not SmackDown. We've got SmackDown to change colors. <laughs> this is not SmackDown. <laughs> I'm not meant to be here. <laughs> I don't even go to this wrestling <laughs> match. Do you even go here? <laughs> no. I just have a lot of feelings. <laughs> mean Girls meets yeah. WWE. If you have not seen Mean Girls, turn this off. Go get it on Netflix or wherever or stream it or I don't care. And then watch find this it. again. <laughs> and then watch this again and you'll find this friggin' hilarious. Um, so then Seth Rollins a little chat with Renee. Renee's getting about lately, isn't she? Mm. I'm fed up with Cena. She's got a really annoying lisp and I hate it. I <laughs> just noticed it. I noticed it all the way through the pre show. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> She's annoying me. Um, so he's like, a whole balloon that gets a hefting seven figure fine. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. Can we drop the fine thing, please? Oh, he's, he's suspended. That's enough. We don't need to over-dramatise things. Um, and he's saying he had a cash in at the perfect time. You know, no one expected it. Reigns and Lesnar are a lot of like everyone expected it. I didn't expect to cash in, him to cash in during the actual match, though. I thought he'd cash in after, yeah, someone, after won. someone won. Yeah, after someone won. I think that's what everyone's mainly surprised about, to be honest. That's why it's crazy. I just leave it. Leave my Toshiba software alone. <laughs> 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 and uh, and he said he's saying how he's going to keep the title for a long time, which normally means he's not. <laughs> but as soon as someone says that, you're like, well, he's going to lose it in a week. <laughs> um, then Randy Orton come along. He's like, I beat you. I took your head off of that RKO before you even cashed yeah. in. And he's saying how he never revoked his rematch clause from last year. Get over it. It was a year ago. Mm-hmm. Why are you bringing it up now? Why didn't you bring it up when fucking Brock was there? Yeah. Why do it now? He should... He should have re-invoked it. 
for WrestleMania. Yeah. Surely. If she if he wouldn't well, I deserve it on doing it now. Then if Seth had ca- cashed in and pinned Riley Orton, that would be even better. Yeah. I think thing is, I'm slightly worried they're pushing away from the Seth Rollins Riley Orton feud. So if there's rumours that was it SummerSlam was already Reigns versus Seth. Um the rumours are that Extreme Rules it's Randy Orton's versus Seth. Better fucking thing. Randy Orton's good at Extreme Rules as well. So it depends if they're gonna have an Extreme Rules match though. Well, if they don't. <laughs> Rude. Uh, um, but I think Dean Ambrose needs to headline that. Yeah. Dean Ambrose and Brian. Oh, yeah. Get back with Brian. It, it'll probably be. No, they got their. It'll be Dean Ambrose and Cena. That's no, gonna Rusev be awful. Versus Cena, Extreme Rules. Again. Yeah. So you, oh, he's doing. He revokes his rematch clause. See, look Ooh. at our Facebook. Stop making me tell everyone what they got on our Facebook. Um. Yeah, so I haven't looked. I've been working. I'll tell you in a minute. Um, <laughs> so then Kane and Big Show come along all of a sudden. He's like, Waddling. He's like, you think I've got three worth fucking messed up? But Seth goes, you think I've got one pro- big problem? You've got three. <laughs> but you know what? I'm a fighting champion. If you get two more guys to help <laughs> you out, get us three right around. Not that you've got any friends type thing. <laughs> and then... Randy Orton walk. Actually, they all walk off top of Big Show who kind of stays there for a bit, smiles at Randy and walks off. And I'm like, <laughs> Big Show, get out the camera. You have too much camera time as it is. <laughs> That's what it is. It's just like camera. Camera. Oh, yeah. On it. <laughs> I hope I've waited to the middle yeah. of the camera then. Camera time. It's so off. I'm like, oh, another six man tag? Yeah. For the main event with Big Show Kane and Seth Rollins? Are you serious? Do we need that again for like the 10,000th time this year? You're ruining really a good Raw. This is a good Raw so far. I know. It was just such a bad ending. But then you have a six Diva tag. <laughs> yes. And this is good. This was good. And yeah. the Divas are up their game and I'm very proud of them. Mm. Pop and AJ and Brie need to sort it out. Yeah, AJ is now the weakest link. Yeah, she really That's is. That's the thing. Nikki is better than AJ now. She is. And that's mm. a bad thing. Like, I hate to admit it, but Nikki is better than AJ now. AJ isn't very good anymore. AJ has a set move. Mm, bounce and bounce and jump and boom, bounce, boom, boom. and then the widow black widow yeah black widow that's the, only, that's the only one I remember is it widow, what's widow's peak who does that is that Paige I think so I've never seen that yeah. Um, so yeah Paige and AJ and Naomi versus Bella Twins and Natalia it makes sense because of what's happening with Bella Twins and Paige and AJ and Natalia and Naomi and they're all had equal time in the ring which was good. Yeah. Uh, I still feel like Paige, AJ, AJ. AJ. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's AJ. AJ. <laughs> um, AJ was in there way too long. Um, because she didn't do much. But Nikki did a couple of good submission moves. They looked really painful. There's like a bone arrow one where she probably bent like AJ's oh, yeah. legs back and like pulled her up. But you can see AJ's ribs in it. I couldn't. Yeah. Look. I was it's like, kind of Ugh. Um, there's one point where Paige and Brie like, rolled onto the outside, but you. Paige smacked her face right on the floor. Did you know it? No, I missed that part. Yeah, and AJ and Natalia, like Naomi were like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, they were, she looked like she'd broken her nose. Oh, really? Oh, I, thought, I thought she'd actually broken her nose, but she had it, she was fine. Um, so, yeah, um, Nikki was... Uh, so, all way, but you know how in six-man tags, they normally, like, all attack one after the other and then someone wins? Yeah. Can't happen the same. Um, I don't know where... But, um, AJ was. I think she went out of Brie somewhere. I don't yeah. know. I lost track of them too. But Natalia did this amazing suplex uh, to Paige. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. That was really good. Like, divas don't do suplexes. No. Come on, that was amazing. Paige pulled it off perfectly as well. Yeah. I was like, like her oh. reaction, her rollout of it was just... Perfect. Yeah. It was like she proper got thrown. Yeah. It was amazing. She like, dealt with it. Yeah, she dealt with it so good. Like, these divas are off in the game and everyone's like, oh, I, I don't get why people still like AJ's amazing. Uh, I don't, I don't understand it. She passes too much of a girl. Yeah, she does. She literally does her bouncy thing and jumps and that's it. And skips. And yeah, she skips too much. They, we've got these divas that are freaking amazing. Like Naomi, Natalia. Nikki's getting up there. Yeah, I Nikki mean, come on, good. Nikki's getting up there. And everyone's still raving about AJ. It's just like, no. I don't know what you're watching. No. Um, and then um, Naomi actually wins. So basically... I'm Nikki- so glad she got the thing. Yeah, so I'm so Nikki glad. Nikki went to, to Coastline... Naomi, but Naomi ducked and Nikki actually hit free. That was brilliant, yeah. that part. And, uh, but I was thinking, oh, please. Especially because Naomi kind of just reacted like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I really hope they don't do a Nikki and Brie fucking feud now. No, we need, we need a. I oh, want Naomi to go for it. Yeah, she needs to. She needs to. Um, so then <laughs> Naomi does the booty bump to yeah. uh, Nikki's face and then actually pins her and wins. <laughs> and it was actually good. Like, yeah. you know. 
I, I mean, if it weren't for the suplex, I don't know if I would have been happy with how it ended with a booty bump. I mean, come on, it's yeah. not exactly the most high profile thing. No, do. I mean, I could like do that to someone easily, but <laughs> but, but um, Joe, you know it was a good match. They went on for a decent time as well. And yeah. I think that's what's why the the divas are so good lately. They've actually got decent yeah. time, so they can show off what they've got a bit more. Which but is they're good. also using the divas that can actually do things. Yeah, the likes of Paige, the likes of Naomi, the likes of Natalia. Nikki's been working hard. I don't know what she's doing. Yeah, but she's well. Bree and AJ need to go. Yeah, and Summer Rae. <laughs> and even Rae. Bring up and Emma and Charlotte. Yeah, because the thing is, do you know what's going to... Yeah, Emma needs to get pushed a bit more. You know what's going to be weird? Is when they bring up these new NXT divas... And they're better. They're better. And then AJ's still going to get the push. Yeah, apparently AJ's going to be the next one for the championship as well. Like, the opportunity, which I really don't want. Oh. No. Yeah. But, um... Next, we have a backstage moment. Uh, Randy was backstage, and Ryback comes along, and he's like, I need to be fed. <laughs> <laughs> and Randy always just looks at him like he's absolutely insane. <laughs> That's what made me laugh. I literally cracked up. Because Ryback literally walks to the room and goes, I need to be fed. <laughs> and then Randy was just looking at him like, okay, how can I help? <laughs> and he's like, KFC? Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I will join your team. It's, it sounds like the start of a fan fiction. It does, I need it? to be fed. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so Ryback joins uh, Randy Orton's team. It doesn't really make sense to me why Ryback's done that, but hey, yeah, he's, he's got just, nothing to do. Yeah, well, when are you against the authority for a while? Yeah, but he hasn't before. Yeah. I suppose it links to Big Show. No, he it? weren't. He was. He opted out. You remember? Yeah, he was in the match. This he's in a few, yeah. Oh, they, they're just so inconsistent. Do you know what it is, though? It's probably because Big Show. Eliminated by back from the Andre Giant Battle yeah. Memorial thing. Uh, um, so yeah, but then we had a really random match. It was Rusev vs Goldust. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, why is this a match? Isn't Goldust meant to be retired now? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. They they literally just dropped Goldust and Stardust like that. Yeah, they literally did. And everyone liked them. I know. And then they started a feud, and then they've gone, well, we give up now after two weeks. <laughs> yeah, and they had a really good feud building up. And then just dropped. And then they dropped it, and now they've neither of them have got purpose. That's the second time they've dropped it. They dropped it last year, they were going to do it and they decided not to. Oh this really? Sh- yeah, this year they've actually done it and then dropped it halfway, f- like, not and even halfway through. And now they're not through. even together. It doesn't make sense. Um, and the thing is, we've got, like, we've just got what they called Le... Lotus Le- Madora? No. Ramos and Car and it. Oh, Lucha Dragons. Lucha Dragons. They'd be alright with them. Yeah. Not as good as Tyson King Cesaro. No. But it's yeah. too late to put back together now. I mean, mm. ideally, I think that's what they need because Stardust in Ramos and not doing that well, to be honest. I mm. mean... They haven't got a direction for a no. life. Uh, but anyway, Rusev had a match with Goldust. It was very quick, over very quick. Very forgetful. Yeah, Rusev won with the accolade. I know what it's called now. Mm-hmm. He looks so happy. You're like, oh my gosh, she mm. knew what it was. We know now. <laughs> it's called the, the accolade. accolade. Um, and that was that, really. Mm. And he walked off because Lana's not there. <laughs> yeah, they could go, where's Lana? She's filming, dude. Yeah. She's filming. She's back in a couple of weeks. Oh. Um, as a diva? Who's being a diva? I don't know. Probably not. No. This had the main event, so... This is shit. We yeah, had Kane, Big Show and Seth Rollins versus Ryback and Randy Orton, but then, as the match was about to start, Roman Reigns comes down the stairs. Um, and everyone just kind of boom. Did boo, uh, started booing him. And it, Seth Rollins was getting more cheers than Roman Reigns yeah. was. Um, and um, the match was shit. The only mm. good part of the match was... And Kane was in the ring with Randy Orton, like Kane was being at Randy Orton, and there was a same old shit charm, <laughs> which was brilliant. It's true, it is the same yeah. old shit. Everyone's getting bored of it. Yeah. Um, and they're going to turn off soon. Considering we had such a good Raw, and then that happened. And then that. I'd rather seen Brock and Seth. Yeah. That would have been so much better. Um, apparently, I read online that there was um, a dubbed chance. They dubbed over chance because there are two um, non PG, shall we say. <laughs> um, uh, apparently there are ones about Roman Reigns. I they didn't say in the article what they were, hmm. but you can kind of tell it's a bit dubbed when yeah. you're watching it. Did you see the Mexican waves though? <gasps> the Mexican, Mexican waves. waves. Oh my god! And then what was it? Can you sit down, please? <laughs> oh, can you sit down, please? It was. I think it was before Brock Lesnar came out and flipped the table. I can't remember, but they were like, you don't have to get up and do it. <laughs> it's something I wanted to. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a Mexican wave, and so everyone literally stopped in the ring. Seth was just kind of like looking around, watching yeah. everyone in the Mexican wave. And um, it was just quite cool. I was like, yeah. oh, bless him. He looked quite happy with himself. Yeah. Um, 
And then Byron did it, and Jerry was like, yeah. you didn't have to do it. He's like, but I wanted to. Yeah, that was it. So the Mexican wave goes on for a little while, and that's quite cool. I mean, it's good that the crowd were excited, but at the same time, it's because they were probably bored and yeah. they started doing it. I mean, when we were there, they started doing Mexican waves. I think it was before the show started, wasn't Yeah, it, it was while everyone was waiting for shit to happen, yeah. which was so, it was a bit awkward. Um, so yeah, that was a hi- good highlight. Of yeah, the I, was like, I was like, Ooh. Yeah, I was like, oh, it went off for ages as well, didn't Yeah, it? they did like three goes round, didn't they? Yeah. Like, um, what? Yeah, Seth looked quite stunned he was watching it go round. Yeah. But at the same time, he did look quite happy that yeah. the crowd were that excited, but at the same time, I think they were a bit bored. Um, <laughs> so then, um, the end of the match was okay, I guess. Um, wasn't amazing, but it's okay. It's better than the whole match itself. So, um, Roman Reigns did the Superman punch to Kane. Big Show then spears Reigns. Right back, shell shot Big Show, which was amazing. Did you see that? No. He like lifted big right back lifted Big Show on his on top of himself and like chucked him down. It was really good. I think I missed that bit. Oh, I'd kinda of lost the tension of this one. That was really good though. I was like, whoa, he lifted like five hundred pounds. Um, <laughs> and then uh Reigns Rollins then curves stops right back. Then Reigns tries to spear Steph, but Steph actually jumps. And like just spits in the air over Reigns, which was really cool. I think that's like a bit. Oh, I yeah, know. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I thought it was like, whoa, we've got Seth. <laughs> and then um, Kane grabs Reigns to do a choke slam, but then Randy Orton comes in and narcos Kane. And then Reigns spears Kane, pins him, and that's the end of the match, really. Jenny and Security weren't there, were they? I think so. No. Oh, yeah, they got big yeah. up my frog. <laughs> I did wonder what they were. Yeah. But, um,. That was the end of that, really. And to be honest, that was the worst part yeah. of the uh, show for me. Yeah. Well, maybe Gus Rusev and Miss Dell and Sardos, but they were slow points. But like they weren't was, terrible. But yeah. this we've seen a thousand times. This is a massive look down to quite a good night. Especially when Rollins just cashed in, you expect something to be much more yeah. like, whoa happening. But there wasn't. It's the same old bollocks. Um, yeah. Oh, as the crowd same said, old shit. same old shit. Um. But overall, I'm quite impressed with their Raw. Today. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. I'm hoping we're slipping into a new era. I really hope we are. Because what, it's been ten, nearly 10 years in the VG era? Mm. Nearly. So, About time we yeah. changed it up. And as well, like... The network era. I don't know. Everything's <laughs> just gone a bit shit from SummerSlam to build up to WrestleMania. And WrestleMania and Raw after WrestleMania have just been totally different from what we've yeah. been seeing lately. It's been, like, really good. So, yeah. um... Though there was a couple of side points on this Raw and a couple of side points on WrestleMania, they've both been pretty. They've both been better than what we've had. It's been a bit less authority as well. Which has been nice. Yeah. Um, uh, what should we rate this Raw though? I'm thinking about a seven. I was going to say six. So should we go six and a half? Let's say six and a half. Six and a half. Yeah. So yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty decent considering most Raws lately have been one. <laughs> yeah, was it? We've nearly. Did we rate SmackDown 0.5? I think we did no. at one point. Yeah. But yeah, so guys. Thanks. Increase. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, loving you all for subbing us, by the way. 156 subs. 58. 158 now? Yes. I did text you that. Like yes, no, I remember that now. Yeah. 158 subs now. Like, come on, guys. That's amazing. And 319 Facebook likes. Yeah, that's amazing. So, guys, thanks. Keep liking, sharing, subscribing, retweeting, retumbling. Tweet us. Let us know in the comments. Have a chat with us. We like it, okay? Mm-hmm. Just stop asking for photos. And to marry us, because that's weird. because yeah, I have a boyfriend, and I'm kind of really in love with him. And I just don't like people. <laughs> I'm a plant, I'm asexual, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going to think that now. What? That you're asexual. <laughs> He's like, oh dear, Ashley, <laughs> she's asexual. <laughs> she just announced it on YouTube. <laughs> um, I'm joking, I'm not, but hey, that's but, life. <laughs> yeah, so, don't ask me to marry you, because I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorts. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.